Welcome everyone, welcome to the Real Deal Kitchen. So today for Thanksgiving, I'm taking a curry dish to someone's house. So I'm gonna be cooking curry chicken. Curry chicken, these are all the spices, all purpose seasoning, all spice, oregano, a little bit of turmeric, paprika, cayenne pepper, you know, mix it up. This is dash, garlic and herbs, a little bit of garlic powder, it's a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna be making curry chicken with some potatoes and carrots in it. Stay tuned, let me go watch this chicken. So at the Real Deal Kitchen, I'm making curry chicken. That's a lot of chicken. How many pounds? 5.6 pounds of chicken. This is chicken parts, cut up small. Legs and thigh, cut up really, really small. Uh, so I know on the channel, I already have honey curry chicken, which is something new. To a lot of people they never heard of that so today I'm cooking regular curry chicken with potatoes and carrots in it so I gotta clean this chicken up Okay, so now the chicken is clean. So we're gonna season this chicken. These are all the seasonings. Curry powder, you need at least. For five pound of chicken, you need at least five teaspoons of curry powder. Okay, so I'm gonna put some carrots, potatoes, scallions, fresh garlic, onions, and fresh thyme and top of pimento seeds. Okay, so let's get ready and season this chicken up. Okay, so to season your chicken, you wanna put on a glove because curry actually stains your finger. So you wanna make sure your chicken is moist. You know, when you wash it, you wanna leave it a little moist. So I'm gonna use at least since it's five pound of chicken, because the curry is what going to give it that flavor and that color. So at least five teaspoons of curry powder into this five pound chicken. And like I said, the curry is what's going to actually change the color of the chicken. So five teaspoons. All right. And at least three teaspoons of turmeric. Turmeric is actually healthy for you. So three teaspoons of turmeric and five teaspoons of curry powder. So all-purpose seasoning, you get this from the Caribbean section, grocery stores that carry Jamaican products. So you wanna use at least four teaspoons You want to add flavor to your cooking. Okay. This allspice is going to definitely do it. You pimento seed. Remember, there's no Jamaican kitchen without pimento seed. All allspice. So you add this in when the food is on the stove. Okay, so oregano. At least two teaspoons of oregano. You want to well season this chicken and remember if you're going to cook it the next day you want to do it from overnight to let it marinate so at least a little bit of paprika you can put two, two teaspoons of paprika and cayenne pepper 
I'm just gonna use a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper because I'm making this dish for someone and I'm surprising them. So I'm not sure if they like their food that hot of pepper. So I'm gonna use at least a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Because I don't wanna make it too hot. But for those of you who love your food hot of pepper, then you can add at least two teaspoons. So this is some seasoning, you know, espanol. So I'm gonna add at least two teaspoons of espanol seasoning, Spanish seasoning. If you don't know what the word espanol means. And garlic and herbs. Remember, I'm gonna use some fresh garlic pegs I'm gonna add two teaspoons of this. Okay, so two teaspoons of Mrs. Dash. And then garlic powder. Even though I'm gonna add some fresh garlic in there. Just wanna add at least one, two teaspoons of garlic powder. Salt. I'm not a fan of salt, but remember, you still. Uh, for those of you who are El conscious, I'm just gonna add like a half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And look at this chicken. So you're gonna rub this in. Rub all this season into the chicken. Okay guys, so just to give you a rundown, of what's gonna be in this curry chicken one more time. So we have fresh thyme, carrots, ginger. So all of this stuff gonna be in the chicken while it's on the stove. Onions, garlic, scallion, and these are all the seasonings. So look at that curry chicken marinated. Look at it marinated in the bowl. So it's gonna sit there for two hours. Like I said, if you have time, you do it from overnight that actually make your curry chicken come out really, really good. Okay, so you need curry powder. This is one of the main ingredients of curry chicken. This, you add it when it's on the stove, all spice, give you that exotic smell to your kitchen. All right, so all of this is gonna be added in your curry chicken. Okay. So, um, we're gonna get this curry chicken in the pot and vegetable oil. I'm gonna use at least one, two teaspoon of vegetable oil. We just wanna grease the pot to make the chicken not stick. But remember, you don't wanna put too much oil in there. Cause you don't want your chicken to come out very oily, okay? You don't want your gravy to be oily. So this is really hot, as you can see the steam, the heat. So what you wanna do, you know, is you turn the stove on low. So now that the pot is hot and you put the two teaspoon of oil in there, this marinated curry chicken, you wanna put everything inside here. So, you want to do it away from you. Okay, so you're going to use a scallion, one stark. So I peeled it. Okay, so you're going to wash it. So this is going to put back. in your garlic pegs. So you want to use 
the least three garlic packs. stirring it until for every 10 minutes for at least another four or five times because you want to make sure you get every corners and every side over okay so you want to keep stirring it until you get it to fully cook so you're gonna cook it like this for at least a half an hour you know just keep stirring it every 10 minutes on the stove these things in there look at the onions the scallion you see after the food is finished cook you can always throw this out carrots are ready with the potatoes they're in the cold water okay so remember you cook the chicken for at least half an hour to 45 minutes before you add those potatoes in there so look at that curry chicken I didn't add no water in it. It produces its own liquid and it's cooking in its own liquid. So remember you want to stir it every 10 minutes to get it to fully cook. You want to make sure you get every each side. Okay, so you want to get each side. Look at that scallion. Okay. And the ginger, the garlic. The pimento seeds. Look at that gravy. It's producing its own liquid. Nice and rich. Not oily. So you turn your stove down and medium. And let it cook on its own. You don't have to add water to dilute your flavor and the seasoning that you add to your curry chicken. Okay. I'm just gonna really let it cook like this for at least 45 minutes. Then I'm gonna add my carrots and my potatoes in it. And remember you could taste it to see if you need any salt in it. Because I only had a half um, half a teaspoon of salt. Try not to use too much salt. And I'm trying to use seasonings that has less salt in it or no salt at all. Okay. So let this stay on the stove. Mmm. Oh, look at that chicken, it's almost cooked. So now, oh, look at this chicken. Look at this curry chicken in the pot. Ooh. Guys, the curry chicken was drying out. You know what? You want to keep monitoring it. So now, I'm going to add. Carrots and the potatoes in it. Okay. Have to be careful. You want to overcook your chicken. I'm gonna add the carrots and potatoes. Okay. You can add 
add a little bit of water in it like a half a cup of water or you can just keep the stove on low and let the juice that the curry chicken produce cook these carrots and potatoes for at least 15 minutes carrots and potatoes for 15 minutes remember you turn your stove down on low keep it on low okay, you don't want to kill the flavor okay you don't want to kill the flavor of the curry chicken half a cup of water to cook these potatoes and you want to add water in here this is a flavor bowl that you season your meat in right you want to get all that all that seasoning from the bowl water to cook your curry, your potatoes. So now this curry chicken is finished. Look at this lovely curry chicken. Oh, look how soft this potato is. Very soft. So it's ready to serve. Look at this beautiful curry chicken. Look at it in the pot. The meat is so soft and tender, falling off the bones. Look how soft this meat is. Okay. The so potato is very soft. So this chicken is finished cooked. So let me serve this into a because I'm gonna take it with me. So I'm gonna pour it out. So guys, look at this curry chicken. It's ready. Very nice and soft with your carrots, your potatoes. Look at that curry chicken in that foul pan. Look at this curry chicken. Ooh. Look at this curry chicken, guys. At the Real Deal Kitchen, you get the curry chicken with potatoes and carrot. Ooh, look at this curry chicken, ready to eat. I have this with some white rice or whatever you wanna have it with. Very delicious. Look at the meat falling off the bones. Look at that chicken. Nice and delicious. So guys, go ahead, like, share and subscribe to my channel for more exotic creative dishes finger licking